Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to Car Question. We're gonna have a few new videos for you and it's gonna be about technicality, all related to cars. And this time we're gonna talk about oil and the big question about oil that remains, mineral or synthetic. Which one do you choose? And I brought my friend Sam who's gonna told you all that you need to know about oil today. Sam from Sinto. That's the big question. What's different between these two kinds of oil? First, you need to know that the mineral oil comes from the ground. It's yeah. a petroleum product that they take, they refine it to get the mineral base that you get in mineral oils. Synthetic oil, on the other end, are made in controlled environmental temperature, pressure, etc., to get a more uniform product. So it's kind of a special recipe. So I imagine a lot of scientists, you know, trying to work that in a closed up environment and everybody must have their own little recipe when it comes to synthetic oil. Yes, there are multiple recipes, yeah. but they all need to meet some requirements for the vehicles. But one thing that differentiates the mineral oils from the synthetic oil is the way they are made on molecular level. So. You get mineral oil as different size in the molecules. Okay. So this one is mineral oil. And when you go to the synthetic oil, it's all the same size. Looks like this. So it's kind of perfect. Yes, more, more than the mineral oil, <laughs> at least. And what does the size of molecule, what does it have to do with the oil? When the oil circulates throughout the mechanical parts of the vehicle, it creates some internal friction. It's called fluid friction yeah. within the liquid. So it can be within the engine, anything that you have two metal pieces kind of rubbing together. One of the most important basic in lubrification is the thickness yeah. of the oil film needs to be kept at the same size. You don't want it to go too thin because now you're going to have metal to metal friction and you don't want it too big because now the lubricant will not be able to go in place to do the good job. That's why at low temperature and at high temperature, the size matter of the lubricant, when you get a mineral oil, it tends to be thicker, thicker at low temperature and go smaller at high temperature. But when you go with the synthetic lubricants, that's why the size of the molecule brings us a more uniform thickness of the lubricant, more protection from low temp to high temp. Because the perfect example can be winter and summer. Here in Quebec City, minus 30 in the winter, plus 30 in the summer. And how about those cold start? Mm -hmm. The biggest issue is just as you said, when you start the engine, it needs sometimes to get the lubricant all the way through every part of the engine. And the thicker your lubricant, the harder it is, the more time it takes to go all the way through, so you get, yes, a little bit more. It is said that somewhat 70 to 80% of engine wear is when you start the engine. It's not when you roll on the highway, cruising. Now it's all greatly lubricated, but when you start the engine, that's when the synthetic gets more efficiency. The big question that remains when I go to the superstore where I can see probably more than 100 bottles of oil, everybody is having the name synthetic on those. Yes. So is it real? Is it a good recipe? How do I make the perfect choice? That's a great question. At first, you need to know that all synthetic oil does not use the same type of base, so there's different quality, different grade. I'm a firm believer on you pay for what you get, so maybe the price has some uh, incidence on what quality you are buying. And some, something interesting, you know that a synthetic bottle has mineral and synthetic oil mixed in it, so that's something that very few people know. When you get mineral oil, it's only mineral oil. When you get synthetic oil, it's mineral and synthetic oil mixed together. If you get, and it's written on the label, 100% synthetic, then you are on the full synthetic oil. But most oil you get on the market are mixed oil. It doesn't mean they are bad oil. It's the recipe and the additives that they put in that makes the quality of the product. 
There you go, you need to read the label. That's probably the best in that we can give right now to everybody and make a choice. Now you know the difference between mineral and synthetic. Thanks to Sam. Thank you, Sam. By the way, we're going to see each other probably in, in another video about technicality about oil. Huh? Great. Good. So there you go, guys. Feel free to comment in the section down there below if you have any question, technical stuff, or you want us to answer a question that you have about oil. I'm going to do more video with Sam. Do a thumbs up because you like that and subscribe to Car Question. Don't worry. We'll see us each other later at another video on Car Question.